100 million dollars. This is what the Gulf countries will have to spend to buy a single anti-missile battery of the Israeli Iron Dome air defense system. Several dozen would be needed to protect the Arabian Peninsula, a huge contract, and the road to its signature is still long. Based on, on what we've done here, we are aiming to expand our collaboration with other countries. Uh, that is, of course, uh, dependent on some other political that we are waiting. But uh, definitely we see the model that we have initiated and established here in UAE for the for other countries as well. The UAE is located about 100 kilometers from Iran, a country invigorated by its growing military cooperation with Russia. This explains why the Emirati Pavilion is highlighting 180 local defense companies. The country has never had so many. We, I think, improve the efficiency of monitoring of the marine, eco, uh, marine coastal area. And that, I think, will improve the efficiency and will help, I think, to have more data for detection, anything. And also, it will be suitable, I think, for the future application, especially related to the defense. Just a few steps away, new participants are making their first appearance at this show, including Ukraine, despite the war raging on its territory. This equipment is produced in secret factories in Kyiv and is sold to the Ukrainian army on the front line. We create a high quality and modern product protection for our soldier. Today we have uh, product, uh, production in uh, Kyiv, but we want to do, uh, inter expansion our products in uh, our four country. A total of 1,350 companies from the global military industrial complex are exhibiting their know-how here. That's a 50% increase compared to the 2021 edition. And it's also a sign of our times.